Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try to make this intro as quick as I possibly can. If you hear some little noises, Hazley is over here in her walker. This video is in collaboration with three other YouTube mamas who are absolutely awesome. It's Lynette Yoder who is a mom of two little boys and has great cleaning videos and awesome motivation, what all these moms do. And also Annette's Life, who has her little girl Lexi, and Mrs. Davis, who is a mom of three and is sure to give you guys a lot of cleaning motivation. So make sure you go check all of these girls out after my video. I'll have everything linked below. We are all getting together to give you guys a lot of motivation to get your houses organized for the new year and to get things decluttered and deep cleaned and just to give you guys that oomph you need to keep on going and to make the new year the best it can be. So I hope you guys go and check them them all out and let's get started. took out like a bunch of canning lids that got piled up. Just as we bring our canned goods up, they tend to accumulate into this thing because that's where I put them. Took this guy out. I just would rather use tin foil. And this was like my breast pump. I don't even know why that was in there. This guy, the lid um, got cracked in the dishwasher, so I'm getting rid of it. And these are water bottles that leak or we don't use them. This is the first drawer and not a lot changed in here, but I downsized the lids. This is like tumblers and coffee mugs and we have more actually that will go in here then. Some extra coffee mugs that aren't up there. This is a French press, tea bags, and then this is all tea and some coffee. So that's what's in this one. All right, not a lot changed in here either. Um, this is just odds and ends kitchen gadgets that I don't use very often. This is just all bags, tin foil, trash bag. Then this drawer is like a constant fight. I don't get Tupperware, but I do get glass containers, so this is kind of like my Tupperware drawer. And it's just always messy and needing decluttered and getting rid of stuff that's either broken or doesn't work. So that's pretty much what all of this is, is just containers. Then I keep my um, juicer down here, and those are like lids for a littler containers. And then these are all for whenever I make, like I make my own homemade sugar-free syrup and stuff like that sometimes. So that's what those are for. This is everything I took out of the closet. It's just coats we don't use and I had way too many Walmart bags in there. Also just like 
shoes that don't fit anybody or that I need to pack up until they fit Hazley or Kylia. This is the finished product. So up there is Corey's hats and his lunchbox for work. There's the girls coats, um, Corey and I's coats and then the girls snow pants. Um, the shoes that they're using on a regular basis right now. My diaper bag hangs in there. Um, down here is just Corey and I's shoes and then this is their little ice cream cart that gets stored in here because it's a big toy and it just needs a place to stay. So in these bins, this is like Corey's hats and gloves and things and this is the girls and I's gloves and hats and then in here is like my diaper and wipes area for the downstairs. Okay, so this is the aftermath of the girls' closet and their drawers. Here's the finished product. Up there, I had put their doll stuff because I had cleaned out their toy area in the playroom and so I just decided to put this stuff up here because I was tired of tripping over it and then I could get it down whenever they want to play with it. And then those three boxes are keepsake boxes that I keep for the girls. I will put random things in them for them whenever they get older. And that's the seat that goes into Everly's booster. She doesn't need it anymore because she just uses the regular part of the booster. That is a um, humidifier whenever they're sick and that's lid for boxes that are in their drawers. I'll show you in a second. And then I just generally cleaned up all of their clothing and like organized it by length of sleeve and that sort of thing. So I just got rid of stuff that was either stained or things that just simply didn't fit right. Then down here we have this basket, which I just got new laundry baskets, so I'm using one of my old ones for um, blankets and sheets and stuff. It's just handy whenever somebody has a wet bed to be able to just grab stuff out of here in the middle of the night. In here is just clips and like headbands, stuff like that. In here, I basically have, down here is um, clothes that don't fit Everly yet, so bigger clothes. And then this is shoes that somebody doesn't wear that needs to be saved for the next girl and then all of these these four this one this one and this one are all clothes that Hazley will be inheriting from the girls right now Kylia and Everly are just a size apart so they don't have any sizing between the two of them so basically everything Everly stops wearing um, she gives right to Kylia but there's still like a pretty good distance in size between Kai and Hazley. Hazley is in six months clothes and Kylia is in 2T so this is like nine months and um, 12 month and 18 month clothing. Then the top three up here are all of their pajamas and this is really where I cleaned out because after a certain age the footy pajamas just don't fit right and so I decided to get rid of them and the I mean Hazley still uses them obviously she's only six months and this is hers but I just got rid of a bunch for Kylia and got her um, there is a bunch in the laundry but got her just two set jammy sets um, instead of the footy ones and then the this is Everly's pajamas. decluttered out of the bathroom closet and if you hear anything in the background it's because the girls are taking a bath while I did this. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do as a mom. Anyways, um, this is all hair stuff that I wanted to get rid of. This stuff I'm getting rid of. This stuff I actually thought maybe Everly could use in her hair. This was some jewelry that was broken and I just got rid of some nail polish and some makeup. These here we did give the girls for Christmas and my sister-in-law also gave them some. But I just read an article about how um, they're making kids break out really bad and so I just decided to stay away from them and get rid of them. So here is the finished product. 
And up there, we're just storing pillows. It's really high closet, so it's perfect for pillows. Um, our towels. And then right here, I just have this little drawer set, which I had before, but I went through it. Um, up here is just like headbands and things like that. This is my jewelry, and then I also just went through my nail polishes and got the ones that I really, really like. And then in this bottom one, I just have like makeup that I use every day. Here is things that Corey and I use on a daily basis. It's easy to grab. I put this little tray in here. Then over here, I just have our little handheld mirror. Down here, this is for linens and crib sheets, things like that, or pillowcases. Um, washcloths and hand towels then in here is like extra q-tips razors cotton balls that kind of thing and then in this is like first aid type stuff like thermometer and um, just other things band-aids stuff like that and down in here is more heavy blankets like if we have a guest stay or anything like that Here is the aftermath of our closet and I also cleaned out a box underneath of our bed. So there's a lot of things I pulled out. Here is what the closet looks like now. And up here I just put tags on everything and I went through each of the bins. Um, it's like our socks, underwear, nightgowns, um, that sort of thing up there. Then I just went through. Corey did not go through his stuff very thoroughly so he may end up paring down more stuff. But um, this is my side now, which honestly, this is pretty much what I wear. Like I wanted to get it down to the things that I love. And not only that, but after having a baby four months ago, um, I just really feel like that my style has changed. Sorry, that was Hazley. <laughs> that my style has changed a lot. And so it's kind of, um, just down to the things that I really wear most of the time and then I've been into wearing ball caps So I put those in there. I also got rid of like mismatch hangers Whoop! except for those two. I need to pull them out and um, down there is like a pair of coach shoes that Corey had bought me a little bit of workout stuff in this thing um, I have our hoodies and sweatshirts and then in here, there's a lot of things in the laundry, but um, like where my leggings and bottoms go, and then Corey's are in the dresser that's over in the corner. So this stuff will probably be sold or um, donated. These lamps I'm going to put down in our basement. We have very few overhead lights in our house so we do need lamps um, depending on how I rearrange the furniture. And then um, that's some stuff that I think needs to go to the yard sale. That is some of Corey's stuff that will go down in the basement where his hunting things is and stuff like that. And then this is the nasty contact paper that was in here. So I replaced it with this brown paper that I just wrapped the shelving with. And I'm so much happier with how everything looks in here. So um, starting on this, this is just an extra booster seat we keep for when friends come over. In this drawer I have DVDs and movies since this family room is where we watch movies. In here I have extra, like this is for my letter board upstairs on the coffee bar, um, and just little signs, a little chalkboard, extra signs that I just um, am not using right now. I like to change things around a lot, so I do keep them so that I can do that. And then in here is like greenery and like stuff for springtime right now with it not being spring. I just have that all put away and there's flowers 
fake flowers and things like that in there. The bottom of this has nothing in it right now, which is really good. And then this is how the carpet used to look in this room. So that's what's down in the bottom of there. We have an extra baby gate. The other thing we do store in here is Hazley's car seat whenever it's not in use. So up here we have board games. I have an empty shelf. I always feel like if I have an empty area when I'm done, I really did good with decluttering. <laughs> and then this is just more like off-season decor pieces um, that I swap out whenever um, I feel like it. And then this here is a duffel bag or a suitcase actually has wheels on it and it's filled with more overnight bags and things like that so when we're when we want to travel this is what I usually get out of and then down there is like an extra filing cabinet and then I also put the girls folding chairs in here they love to use them whenever we watch movies and stuff like that so yeah I'm much happier with how this looks and I'm really glad that I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff